Hello, Aidan from Avaria Kids Workshops, and you're very welcome to this next one there, second day in our What's in Our Garden uh, videos uh, in association with Fingal Libraries. So today we're going to be having a look at, at insects and what are they, uh, why are they insects, uh, and just a look at, at, at some of the main ones around. So um, ones we're going to be looking at today are, um, uh, are basically ones which you might see on, on, a, on a daily run if you're out in your garden, if you're playing football, if you're you're with your friends or family. So what are insects? Well, insects are made up of three parts. You have the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. So it's if, if it has these three parts, it's an insect. If it doesn't, it's not an insect. So there is uh, little ways uh, to distinguish. So in the head, you have the eyes, you have the antenna, which are basically used for feeling, sensing, and hearing. And then you have the mouthpiece, um, so which to use for food. In the middle then, you have the thorax, which is an important part. So you uh, an insect has six legs also. If it has six legs, it's an insect. In the thorax then, you have, and this particular one we're using a wasp, so it has uh, wings. So you have uh, basically a set of wings and it's six legs. And then the abdomen part of it is, is the part where they keep all their organs. So you'd have their heart, their digestive system, all will be stored in the abdomen. So it has the three sections, so the head, the thorax and the, and the abdomen. We're going to stick on the wasp. It gets a bad rap, but it's one of my favorite creatures. I, I love, a, I love a, a wasp. I love looking at them uh, and seeing them, what they do. Um, a wasp, they live for about 22 days. They get a bad reputation for, for some reason, but near the end of their lifespan, coming near the end of uh, the end of August, September, is when they're most prevalent, when you see them a lot more around. So what happens is the queen, which would lay about 25,000 eggs over the summer period, has stopped laying. So the wasp is the worker wasp, is the one which we would normally see around, has no more real use. So um, what happens is he's out in his own, he's not, not back in the nest anymore. And in the nest, they could be ending up to 10,000 more wasps. So there are really a lot of them around because they wouldn't be in the nest anymore. So he becomes a bit of a nuisance. And then what happens is he'd go down near your house or your school or when you're walking, he'd sense something. And then you start waving your hands. So when you start waving your hands, you're giving off a pheromone. He thinks he's in danger, and that's when they sting. So now near the end of the summer is, is when they're most prevalent, and uh, that's when they become aggressive. So there's over 9,000 different, uh, 9, different species. We have sort of six main species in Ireland. And as I sort of say, they live for about 22 days. So yeah, yeah so, so they're going to die off. So I, I, I feel sorry for them in a way, because uh, they, they don't live too long. And then we have our friends on top, which is the mosquito. And the one that's biting into the arm there or sticking its, its uh, sort of needle like uh, razor in, in, into, the, into the arm is, is basically the female. The female is the one that'll bite you. The males don't really do and do that. They, they just feed on plants and stuff. So the, the, the female will bite you because it's, it's one to uh, give nourishment to her young. So that, that's why they do that. Um, it's about three and a half thousand different species uh, worldwide of mosquito. Uh, they live for about two months. And uh, they're the most, they're probably the most dangerous creature on the planet. And really that is because they spread diseases. So from going in to arm to arm to arm to creature to creature. So they, they've been known to even uh, suck blood out of frogs and stuff like that. So they, they're not really uh, picky. But uh, yeah, so they're, they're the most fair, fair creature on the planet. And then we have our friend at the bottom, the horse flower, something, or the horse, the horse uh, fly. Um, Again, it, it gives a nasty bite. It's, it's sometimes nearly worse than a wasp. And what happens is when you rub it, you're spreading the, the toxin or it's bits sort of poison around. So again, there there normally are sort of in rounds where, where you'd have a where you'd have a land animal, sort of like horses or cows and whatever like that. But not not a nice creature, but yet all very, very important to our ecosystem. And these guys as well are very important. So we, we have our friends here, the dragonfly and the daddy long legs and the damselfly. So the oldest creatures on the planet, uh, we have, um, they, they, there's over 5,000 species of these, they live for about six months, um, and uh, they, they have four wings, so like our arms and legs, uh, they all go in different directions. They're very, very fast. Uh, yeah, they can fly up over 30 miles an hour, so they're probably one of the fastest insects on the planet. Um, and you'll find them near water, uh, down there, sort of canals, rivers, lakes, and whatever like that. Uh, again, very important, again, to do a lot of cleaning up forest and they help us out massively in our in our in our ecosystem and our friends at daddy long legs it's not a spider a lot of people do but you can sort of see the head the thorax and the abdomen so 
but it's an insect as well. It's very long legs. If you pull off its legs, it doesn't grow back. So, yeah, so you know, like ourselves, it doesn't grow back. They are harmless. They're not venomous. They don't sting. They don't do anything. Um, the bigger ones are the, the males. So if you see two of them, normally the bigger ones are the males. The females carry its young around in its mouth, so its eggs around in its mouth. And they have, they live for about seven years, and they go back as far as four four hundred million years ago. So that's how long they've been found in fossils. So they're very very old uh, creatures, and they're very again very very prevalent. Um, and like these guys, these guys are hugely important. So there's a cycle for these. So we have our friend the caterpillars. Um, so all these do is really eat, <laughs> and they get bigger and they shed skin, and they get bigger and they shed skin. So, so this is this is what they what they what they do. So these are important. They um they 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 they're munching away at leaves, and then they come to the second part. After twenty one days, they go into sort of into the next stage of life, the the, the pupa or the, the chrysalis, and their shell becomes very very hard, and then they turn into these guys. So they turn into our friends the butterflies. So <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, yeah, so th these are fabulous, you know, the the uh, butterflies, they have four, sort of four, uh, four wings, so you can sort of see, believe it or not, they have four different wings. So they start off at the egg stage, then the larvae, which is the caterpillar stage, and then the pupa, the chrysalis, it's, it's like a really hard skin, and then they come out into adult, adult stages. So they live for about a year, and uh, there's about 20,000 different species um, yeah, in the world, and then... Um, we have uh, we've about 32 species here in Ireland, and we sort of three common ones: the likes of the painted lady, the red admiral, or the peacock, and um, very very uh, prominent ones here. They actually taste. If you can see the top picture on the right hand corner there, they, that's how they taste. They taste with their feet, um, but again, very very important. They do a lot of cleaning up for us, and they huge huge pollinators. So basically, they're pollinating going from flower to flower to flower. And like our friends here, the moths, they do an awful amount of pollinating. So uh, a lot of moths, they think uh, they come out at night, but then we have an awful lot that come out in the day. So we have our, like our hawk moth here on the right hand side. So it looks like a hummingbird and he has this long sort of straw you can sort of see. And that's where it's eating and tasting. So again, it's going from plant to plant to plant, pollinating, doing massive work for us, for our ecosystem. And and the moths actually would be nine to one in ratio of, of butterflies. There's actually 160,000 species of moths on the planet so they're huge 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 like they the, the, the have number of moths uh, they have number of butterflies nine to one and massive massive pollinators and um, so they they live for about 30 days and we have some of them there like the like the one right in the center you have our six spot uh, barnet there he's the very very popular very and we have the large emeralds there at the bottom you see them at night a great thing to do is maybe get a, a, a not a, a, a bot trap but sort of go out and see a light at night and you'll see the different ones it's fabulous you see the different ones and uh, again very very important to our ecosystem our friends here are beetles huge huge there's one in one in every four creature on the planet is a beetle so we've we've absolutely there's over 300 different types of species in them and uh, some of the ones we have here are they're like the tiger beetle on the, on the bottom we have a, a lot here in ireland we have over two over two thousand species of beetles in ireland and they live they can live up up to three years um and uh they the other ones um when they get to the stage, they become their shell becomes a lot bigger, a lot brighter, a lot greener. And we have the guy in the top right and on, on the corner there is the coach beetle. You might see them; they look very vicious. They always do, and they look like they're a stinger. But they're really a lot of them are harmless to humans. But again, the amount of work they do on the ground level for us, and the amount of cleaning they do is immense. They, they all the little bugs and insects. And one one that we all love seeing is this guy is the be is the beetle, and um. He does um, uh, uh, um he he uh, the the beetle a ladybird a guy he does enormous amount of work they live for about a year and what they do is they go on the leaves and they do a lot farmers love them because they they all the little green flies that's what they do they hoover up all of them and they clean them up for us and uh, they um they they they're, they're so like farmers love them they're respected all worldwide because they are and they're beautiful to look at as well and as well as that they can fly as, as you probably know so there's over five thousand different species of beetles uh so we have one here the seven spot of one is the most common one in ireland um and again very very important to our ecosystem our friends the earwigs a lot of people don't like them hugely important as well and actually they can fly but they don't use their wings at all their, their wings are um, they, they their wings are dormant and um, there's over two thousand different species in them and they live for about three years 
and they don't sting, they they don't go near your ear, they're actually harmless. So they use the the, the sort of the pinchers at the back basically as protection. So again, and the metal work they do as well on the leaves, getting up the little insects is is massive. Our friends, the ants, they're one of the most prevalent creatures on the planet. There's over 12,000 species, um, and they can lift up to 20 times their own weight. Um, and unfortunately, the, 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 the queen, which can live up to 30 years, when the queen ant dies, normally the colony will have about two months or three months. It normally just, just, um, just the colony will, will die itself. Um, and um, there's lots of female ants. The female ants are the ones which do, do the work, and they live up to about 15 years. But the amount of work they do with uh, dead sort of carcass, dead insects, cleaning up plants, um, and uh, bringing them down into the soil. And what they're doing as well is they're aerating the soil. So they're doing an awful amount of work. They're very, very important. Um, very, very important again to our whole ecosystem. Uh, and uh, lots of lots of ants. We have been sort of the, the green ant. The, the, we have two different sort of types, which you'll see a lot. It's sort of like a black ant and, and, and uh, sort of um, the one at the top, the top right in the corner, like a like a, uh, an orange ant. So they're two of them. So the black garden ants, and then we have we have. So they're the most sort of ones you most likely see. Um, and normally uh, they, they they sort of uh, they leave a scent, and they can go up to up to like a um, uh, uh, hundred yards from. Where their colony is so it's a massive it would be like uh going from dublin to cork for us you know it's a huge huge distance away so very important again and one of the most important on the planet are these guys and uh, these are our bees and um uh, probably one of the most important creatures on the planet there's twenty thousand different species and there's 25 different species of bumblebee a bumblebee alone which which we have and they're responsible for roughly 90 percent of um they, they visit really 90 percent of our food source like a bee would have visited some part of its life you know so they, they basically what they're doing there is a pollinating um so you can see the picture in the top left hand corner of us pollen in in under the, the bee and they collected um they collected a little sack and um roughly in a bee's lifetime it'll sort of make a tea, teaspoon of honey so one bee would make a teaspoon of honey unfortunately they only normally live you know roughly between six weeks and six months so they have a very short lifespan but in their lifespan they can or in a single day they can visit over over two thousand plants in a day so you can just imagine the amount of, amount of flying that they're doing uh, and amount, amount of work that they're doing huge is hugely important to our planet one of the most important creatures we have and we need to protect them more so the likes of farmers playing them um, with these pesticides and that is sort of it's not happening as much anymore but these these guys need to be protected and we need to mind them so in the next episode we're going to be having a look at more so that we're going to be having a look at some spiders we're going to have a look at some pine martens we're going to be having a look at some birds of prey and larger animals that we have i hope you enjoyed uh, this series and i hope you just got a little brief uh, look into into uh, insects in, in our planet and um, i hope to see you for the next one so again thank you very much and talk to you soon